Hi baseball fans, welcome to the second part of the tutorial series about our latest release out of the park baseball 18. My name is Markus Heinzon and I am the lead developer of this little game. So today I'd like to talk about the interface in general and uh, what kind of features it offers and how you can adjust it to your style of play. Okay, so I've just started a standard um, 2017 Major League game and I've taken control of the Boston Red Sox. So here at the top you have the status bar along with some basic navigation uh, controls. For example here you've got the page back control and as you see we just got a little uh, pop-up here so most buttons when you move your mouse over them and let it rest for a second uh, you will get a little hint text that shows you what this button does that's not supported everywhere but in certain places okay so you got the browsing controls here you've got a menu of the recent screens you've visited then a browse forward button here you've got bookmarks and then you have the home button which takes you to your manager home screen where we are currently on then you see which game is loaded what state the current selected league is in uh, what date it is if you click on the date you will be taken to the major league baseball home page uh, the major league baseball is currently the league i have selected here because i'm managing the boston red sox and uh, speaking of the red sox up here you have a quick link to your team homepage and it also tells you about your current record. Up here you have the global search uh, which if you type something in let's try Ruth for little babe Ruth where is he oh there's Eric Ruth I don't know him but somewhere down here all right there's babe Ruth all right so the global search searches for players coaches and teams so, for example, if I type in Ducks up here, all right, there are no players who are named Ducks. Okay, that's no surprise, but down here I have a couple of teams. Okay, so let's return. Okay, so now we're back at our homepage. Here on the right, you have the upcoming schedule, and you can browse down or back up again. And uh, if you click on those shortcuts on the dates, what will happen is that the game will simulate to that selected date, or at least it will try to simulate unless you're uh, interrupted by some sort of message or some action pop-up or whatever. This little thing here, it hides or shows the toolbar on the right and the toolbar you have quick links to certain screens for example your manager home screen again or the league news league setup or your team strategy stuff like for example your pitching staff or your lineups things like that all right then we have the top menu uh, here first the file menu which has all the basic functions like creating games or loading games or the general global game settings. Let's have a quick look at those. Um, the first tab up here is the interface. And uh, here, for example, you can select one of two different, or three different screen uh, skins, actually. And then you can select between a window or a full screen a display mode. Uh, you can edit the window size. You can edit the font size. You can select whether you want to have the icon bar on the right. All kinds of different uh, options are available here, which lets you suit the appearance of the interface to your taste. And then we have some more set, uh, settings here. For example, you can uh, change the height unit or the weight unit if you want to change it to the metric system, for example, or you can enable or disable different uh, options regarding the in-game sound, or if you want to help us by sending us your usage data, all the kind of stuff is here. The 3D tab, it's uh, advanced settings uh, about the 3D in-game mode. If you have trouble getting things to show up the way you expected, uh, this is a good spot to toy around with the options. And then you also have an expert setting and a troubleshooting setting. Um, 
there is one button here which I personally find pretty useful, which is uh, open folder containing customizable data. So whenever you want to toy around with the data the game comes with, or if you want to manually install some mods, this is a button you'll need to find uh, where OOTP stores its customizable data. All right, let's exit that. So next menu is the game menu. This is all oh, those greens in here are basically uh, about the currently loaded game from a global viewpoint. So for example, if you check on the schedule, you'll see the schedule of all the leagues. Obviously early in the season is just Major League Baseball games, but uh, later you'll also find the minor league games like here. Minor league season starts at uh, April 6 and you have all those games here. All right, so these are all about the game from a global perspective. Okay, the next one is my personal manager menu. Here I find things that uh, relate to my managing duties and I can also uh, find things like the player search and shortlist, uh, my personal history or my settings. Team control settings, for example, is probably the first screen I visit uh, the first time I have created a game. Here I set where I need help from the AI or which things I want to manage on my own or what kind of news I want to get or when I want the autoplay to automatically exit, for example, if a player is injured for longer than three days. All right, so that's the manager menu. And then you have the league menu. Uh, two things to note about the league and the team menu. Um, up here, the first op option is where you select the league, which is a currently selected league, and all the options below that league inside the menu then apply to that currently selected league. So for example, I've just selected the Southern League, and now when I click on standings, I go to the Southern League standings. So if I want to go back to the Major League standings, there are two ways to do this. Either I could click here, on the heading, which will open the menu of all the leagues that are currently available in this current currently loaded game. So I can click on the Major League Baseball right here. Or again, I go to the menu here, click the league selection menu and select the league of my choice. Okay, so inside the league menu, well, let's go back to Major League Baseball very quick. Inside the league menu, you get all the standard screens like the league home screen or the league news screen, standing score, schedule, statistics, or transactions, which is a very important one as well. Here in the transactions, you find all the different screens that relate to player transactions. For example, uh, you get a list of all those free agents, you find the waiver wire, you can initiate a player trade, or you can look up the upcoming draft order, and even available personal and uh, certain news logs, which keep track of all the transactions that took place in this league. Okay, then you have a sub menu here about all those reports and infos. For example, you can check the top prospects report, which looks like this. And then you have the logs, which keep track of uh, all the things that are happening while you are playing in this league. For example, injuries or trades or all sorts of transactions. And then you have a sub menu for the league history. If you go to the history index, you will get to the uh, selections that you have available for displaying uh, history data, for example, the past champions or milestone watch, the hall of fame, single game records, all this interesting information that you uh, can get about your currently loaded league. Okay, that's the league menu. Let's go over to the team menu. So currently it's by default uh, selected to the Boston Red Sox. Okay, here I have all the screens that relate to my team. For example, my rosters and transactions or pitching staff or lineups. Okay, let's have a quick look at my lineup screen. And here I will demonstrate some different basic interface uh, functions. Okay. When you do transactions or you're moving players around, there are usually two ways to do this. Uh, number one, if you go over a player, 
you can right click on the player which will open a context sensitive menu and in this menu you'll get all the features and functions that are available for this player at the current time so for example for alan craig i can offer him a minor league contract extension or i can insert him into different lineup spots or i can initiate certain transactions for example wave the player or demote him or i can create a node so as you can see there are many many options available okay so if i want to move players around for example within the lineups uh, i do this via drag and drop so for example if i want to move Andrew Benintendi into the cleanup slot. I click on him and drop him down there and he'll trade places with Henry Ramirez. Okay. So if you want to look up more infos about a player, I simply click on him and I will get to the player profile screen, which is probably the most visited screen in all of OTP. Here you find something which applies to almost every single screen in OTP. The screen is organized in a manner uh, using tabs and sub tabs. Up here you have the main tabs. So for example, the ratings or the betting statistics. And below that you have sub tabs for the different subcategories for this uh, particular screen. For example, I can look up the game log for his betting stats, but Currently, the season hasn't begun yet, so there aren't any stats yet. All right. This player profile screen is the only screen in the game which uh, has a special function for the right mouse button, which is close the screen. So whenever I have opened the player profile screen, I can click the right mouse button and I'm going to return to the next screen. So instead of having to move the mouse over here and click on page back i can simply go to a screen wherever i am i just click the right mouse button like this and then i return to the next screen okay another useful thing about the right mouse button is a hidden feature that most people don't know about is if you right click on one of those tabs you get a big menu with all the tabs and sub tabs which are currently available in the screen Okay, all right, let's move over here. Usually on the right side of those uh, tab bar, you have certain viewing options or certain action menus. For example, here I have the available actions menu, which has all those actions which are currently available for this particular screen. For example, I can copy this line up go to my left-handed lineup, click available action and say, all right, paste this lineup. Things like that are always available here in the available actions menu. And uh, for lineups, we also have a feature like custom lineups where you can save different lineups and recall them later. Okay, so those are the tabs and the sub tabs. Um, let's move over to the play menu. The play menu has all the features that actually apply to advancing your currently loaded game or your baseball world basically at the top you find the finish today button so if you want to move to the next day so for example uh, today it's march 31st the season hasn't started yet and i can see here today there is no game tomorrow there's nothing coming up either but sunday there is opening day so what if I want to move to opening day now? I can either do finish today twice, or I can say auto play until the next game, which actually is on uh, April 3rd for the best Boston Red Sox, or I can say auto play to event, which is here opening day. So let's do this. Okay, while simulating, you see uh, the standing screen and then once it reaches opening day it generates the preseason predictions which is a special report oh all right something happened i have just received a personal message whenever a personal message arrives or some sort of news that you have subscribed to you will get a little pop-up after the simulation has ended and you will be taken to your uh, new screen 
Okay, so for example, the top 100 prospect list has just been published and there is a news article about the opening day. And I have a personal message from my owner, John Henry, with his season expectations. Okay, so this year he wants us to play better than 500 ball. So he's a very generous person. I would have expected him to uh, basically tell us to win, win the whole World Series today or not today, but in this game. But all right, so that's the news. Okay, so we have covered all the different menus and we have covered tabs and sub tabs and we have covered right click menus and also drag and drop. And uh, yeah, that's the basic principles of the OOTP uh, interface. And I think that's it for part two. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, maybe you found some information of this useful. And in the next tutorial, I will show you the basic tasks about managing your own team and also if it doesn't take too long, just managing a single game. All right, see you later.